In the video yesterday, I tried driving to to my boat, which is isn't that far, but when you carry a bunch of fishing gear, it's pretty far. So this time, I got my jumper. Jumper on the car. Start this sucker up. Ooh, yeah. Wait, it says I have zero fuel. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, I'm chilling here in the Walmart, or I mean the Kmart parking lot out here in Key Largo. Just picked up some of these hooks. Today we're gonna be targeting uh, mainly big snapper. Um, I didn't have too much luck going out the other day, but when I was looking for lobster, um, I found some huge snapper. So I'm gonna go back to that spot and try to fish for them. Uh, I got. Some of these weights here, pretty light weights because we're only going to be fishing in about 10 feet of water. That's where I saw I saw a big grouper, big snapper, yellowtail. Picked up some of this get uh, two-stroke oil. I'll use one of those whole. Uh, how much is in one of these? One gallon. Pretty much every time I take the boat out, if you know where I can get oil cheaper than $25 per gallon. Please let me know. Well, I just poured a whole gallon of oil into my little oil thing here. It was like halfway full. Now it's fully full, so I got enough oil for at least three or four decent trips. Yeah, that's a pretty big oil reservoir, huh? Well, yeah, my float switch isn't installed properly yet. <laughs> it's supposed to be down there. All right, start this puppy up and get fishing. I'm bringing three rods on this trip. I probably won't even use this rod because it's definitely meant for bigger fish, but I saw some big grouper at this spot we we're going to, so I might have to pull this guy out. And these two will be good for mangrove and yellowtail snapper. Time to get this show on the road. Oops. Okay, we're loose off the front. Now we can back up a bit. go big dreams today big dreams nothing but success the title of this video will hopefully say catch and cook in it because that means I caught something if it doesn't say catch and cook then this is impossible okay so the first thing that we need is I'm I'm relying on live bait I didn't really bring any bait except some some frozen glass minnows so I really need to get some some live bait here. And I just saw some splashing, but I don't really see bait. I'm just gonna keep looking for it because we need it. We need it. Well, I don't see any bait anywhere. So I'm just gonna make my way towards Tavernier Creek that way. And Fingers crossed I run into some bait on the way or see something and if not then hopefully we get some ballyhoo behind the chum slick when we go out to the patch reefs 
and I can cast net those, so see what happens. So I just saw some action right here, so I'm gonna toss some mirror lure. I'm, I'm supposed to be looking for bait, but uh, got a little sidetracked. <laughs> Typical. Just a couple casts. I see bait, but they're not bowls of bait. They're just like little individual mullet. Okay, I'm gonna stop wasting my time here. No, oh, that's an osprey. Yeah. Look at it tearing that fish up. I'd be pretty stoked. There's Tavernier Creek Bridge. I looked. Um, I looked in a few spots for bait. Didn't see any bait. I saw some scattered finger mullet, but nothing uh, worth trying to cast on. So. I'm gonna run out of Tavernier Creek right now and run a little southeast to find some good patch reefs. I got a little spot that I think is gonna produce really well. And yeah, I'll just start fishing. I'll start chumming. Maybe I'll fish some artificial lures. Then I'll, I got some glass minnows, some frozen glass minnows I can use. And hopefully I get some ballyhoo behind in my chum slick and I'll cast net those and use them as probably cut bait, so. Let's do it! I really like this spot here. Woo. It's wavy today. Windy and wavy. Real. I think I'm exactly where I want to be. Good structure right here off on my side. Not too many rocks right behind the boat, so they, they, the fish can't get rocked when I'm reeling off. So let's, let's get to it. Peace and quiet, even though it's super windy, pretty wavy. Um, I didn't bring any drama means, so. <laughs> All right, so today, you know I'm serious because I brought two chum blocks today, not just one, two chum blocks and then, this is the only bait I have right now, just frozen glass minnows, so hopefully we'll be able to cast net some ballyhoo and then go from there. Bring. Here's the new chum holder thing. Toss it out there. And I'll put this in here whole until it thaws out a little bit so then I can take the wrapper off easier. I'll give that two, three minutes. I always bring the bags back home to throw away. I hate it when I see the chum bags floating out in the ocean. And I see it a lot when I'm out there. Start off very simple. I'm gonna use these uh, 1 16th ounce, they're called snapper jig heads. They're kind of pretty much just what I use for yellow tailing for the most part. Just a little, a hook with a little pink weight. And there we go, that's all to it. Just a simple, uh, I, I did a knot with a loop in it, which lets it float around a little easier, a little more loose. It's easier to set the hook this way when you keep this circle in the eye of your uh, hook. So I'm gonna stick uh, one of these glass minnows on it and toss it out. All right, the good news is there's a bunch of yellowtail behind the boat already. The bad news is there's a huge and I mean a huge uh, barracuda down there just waiting. Waiting for me to catch something so it can eat it. So we'll see what happens here. Already. They already took my bait. I'm going to use a smaller piece this time. Oh, I got something. Hey, oh, <laughs> there it goes. It was too small anyways. A flying yellowtail. Yes. He's the, he's the clown down there. I can tell by the way he shot out of the water like that. That was funny. 
All right, I launched this one way back. That's usually where the big yellow tail hang out, like further behind the ball. Oh, I'm on something. I better reel it in quick before the Barracuda gets it. Oh, a tiny yellowtail. And I mean tiny, but beautiful. Look out. <laughs> oh, he got me good that time. Look how beautiful this guy is. Let's get some big ones though. Oh, and the Barracuda come. The Barracuda chased this guy all the way back to the boat. Oh my God. I... This is gonna be tough. If, uh... if I catch a bigger yellowtail that I have to fight for a little bit, man, that's gonna be tough. Barracuda is gonna go for him. Ah, uh, another little one. How many of these little ones am I about to catch? Like a thousand? Yeah, I'm on. Oh, another tiny yellow tail. Come on! What is this? Preschool? If there's any big, big bullies out there, you tell them to bite the hook. I'll get rid of them for you, I promise. There's Ballyhoo starting to ball up behind the boat, so... I'm gonna cast net on those in a little bit here once there's once the ball is a little thicker. Oh man, getting tired of this. This one feels a little bit stronger, but still weak overall. And me, biggest one yet. They're getting bigger. Oh, there he goes. He just executed his own escape route. Pretty impressive for a fish to be able to escape me. All right, this might be the smallest one yet. Little chump. Oh, there we go. What? Oh, man. Okay, time to catch Ballyhoo. I need bigger bait. Bigger bait, bigger fish. Yes, I think I got one. Two. Two ballyhoo. Let's turn the live well on. It's fishing time. We got live bait. Live well button, which one? Uh, aerator. That's the one. The thing with Ballyhoo though, is Ballyhoo don't stay alive very well inside of these live wells, but I just need them to stay alive for, you know, enough for me to put on a new rig and beautiful Ballyhoo. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Let's cut some more. Just one, one more ballyhoo. Well, that's three. That's enough for now. I'll, I'll get more when as needed. Come on, get out of the net. All right, so that's, that's a small ballyhoo chunk. We'll see if I can get some bigger fish up using this instead of a glass minnow. Oh, yes, and I'm on. It already feels bigger, whatever it is. Yes. I don't know if it's a keeper, but uh, by far the biggest yellowtail so far. That's the trick. Bigger bait, bigger fish. <laughs> Look at him. Now nah, I'm going to throw him back. Nope, oh, nope, it's on. Looks like another yellow tail. He's definitely a bit bigger than the other ones we've been catching.
Hey -o. That looks like it might be a, a keeper. Mangrove snapper. Okay, I'm not gonna measure him on the cutting board or else he'll probably jump up and escape, so. If he's 12, I'll keep him. Well, he's a, an inch and a half over the legal limit, but he's only 11, 11 and a half inches, so. Can't believe I'm gonna do this, but. <laughs> Peace. Ooh, I think another mangrove snapper. Oh, ah, he got himself off the hook. Literally. Ha, 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 ha. All right, I'm stepping up my game a little bit. I'm gonna switch to a size six circle hook. Um, this might be a little big, but at least that way I know you know i can use big baits and i know if a big grouper or something hits that it'll it'll get hooked nicely and even a hook this big can still hook a decent size or a, a smaller snapper so i don't think i'm compromising i'm going to put a weight on it too so for this magic trick i'm going to be using a whole ballyhoo You just want to break their beak off because that gets in the way and gets caught in your line. And then we're going to hook them right here in the back. Oops. Just threw it just like that. Here's the little weight I have. I would recommend using a much heavier weight, but we're in shallow water, so I'm just going to work with this. Chuck them out there. What? I got myself a grouper. <laughs> a little grouper. Look at that. See, the bigger the baits might get, the bigger the fish that I get that I'm catching. <laughs> Even He's a small grouper, but uh... nice to see them beautiful I'm gonna let him go he's gonna be big one day I know it oh I had something decent well I got something on that ballyhoo chunk Looks like a grunt. First grunt I've seen all day. See, even these huge hooks can catch a small fish. Hear a grunting? Look at that beautiful blue color on there. Almost matches my shirt. All right, he's going back in. That should at least have caught one or two. I think three. <laughs> yes. One, two, three, all right. That's all we need, one cast, and we're fully back in action. I got ballyhoo poop all over my shirt. Look at that. Ugh. Dang. Yeah, there's something on here. Woo! That looks like dinner to me. <laughs> oh. Twelve and a half, almost thirteen inches, almost thirteen inches. He's going in the ice box.
I caught that that gray snapper mangrove snapper uh, on a cut piece of ballyhoo just like this one and what I did this time or what I caught the uh, fish on is I'm sticking the hook inside of this like chamber wrapping it inside there and then trying to push the hook in there as much as I can Yeah, usually I do it a little better than that, but it hides the hook a lot more. Hidden hook should look like. That wasn't any better. God damn it. This belly already as a hole, which looks like it's like halfway healed, exactly where I was going to hook him. Which makes me wonder if someone else used him as bait and he got away and lived. Oh, I think I got something. Oh, another grunt. Second grunt of the day. I'm gonna keep him alive all just for now, but I'll probably let him go. I got something. Oh, a little yellowtail. Yeah, the second I start using those glass minnows again, the yellowtail go right for them. Yeah, I think I'm um, another snapper. Debating if I want to keep them right now because I could make some fried snapper fingers. He is legal, so I think I'm gonna keep him. Just so I have some more fish to uh, make my yummy stuff with. I'll see if I can catch another one. Ooh, got something else here. Uh, third grunt of the day man i've been catching it's hard work catching all these small fish i'll tell you that <laughs> fun but hard it's just like mentally exhausting i only got about 20 minutes left before i gotta run run back home it's already getting kind of late oh whatever this is it feels okay feels actually kind of decent Yes! <laughs> a nice size mangrove snapper. Not a monster, but... I mean, you know, it'll do. If I can catch... Got something... Looks like, uh... Pinfish, I think. This would actually be a really good live bait, but I don't really have time for for this guy today. So lucky him, he gets to live. Uh, another little mangrove snapper. Don't worry, today's not your day. Nothing to be, nothing to fret. I still have my bait. Oh, what do I got here? Probably, oh, another uh, snapper. <laughs> They're just everywhere down there. These are the smaller ones. Still gotta clean the boat. Some lucky fish is gonna get a nice piece. No hook attached. No strings attached with that piece. Oh, I almost forgot about you. You're free too. It's everyone's lucky day.
you know, we got some decent, decent dinner. And as long as you're eating good dinner, fresh fish, fresh anything really. And you get to see a sunset like this, boop, winning. Straight winning. Yes. Oh, God, came up.
Yeah, this plate's missing a little bit of color, but whatever. <laughs> Who needs vegetables when you have hot sauces and yum yum sauce? Just love. Hmm. It's almost too good to put hot sauce on. You just want to eat it by itself. Yeah, I try to do so. It's delightful. I'll cross my legs. You'll cross your legs? Mm-hmm. Like a lady? Like a lady.